we go, y'all. This segment on this last week in our Friday morning. I don't know if you've had a chance to watch that yet. Yes, sir, I have. Thanks, bro. Can't even run it in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, there we go. That gotta be it. Hurry for somebody coming, I'll be in their way. 33 and a half, yes, sir. You too. What's good with y'all folks? It's your boy Dex. We back with another banger, man. We about to get it cracking today. Um, I got a whole new setup. I'm excited for y'all to give me y'all opinion on. Um, if y'all seen my last video, y'all see it. I gave a shout out to Slime Pack. She responded to the video, so y'all know I, I feel like I done made it somewhere. But anyways, man, I'm about to do something similar to what she did. I've been thinking about it and been working on it. For y'all, try to say I copied her. I promise I'm not copying her. I already had it in the works. I was just practicing with it because I didn't want to bring y'all no garbage. I got to record everything with a 360 camera. If you work at Prime and you want to be able to make your videos and do your thing, my advice to you is going to be to get a 360 camera. If you've been using the um, head mounts and all that, like I've been doing it, like a lot of the rest of us have been doing, Prime said no more of that. It's too distracted driving. camera that's recording everything around you another thing for you to be intentionally like having a camera on your head adjusting your head the, the way he broke it down he was like now nah, it sees everywhere you look so if you looking left when you should have been looking right and this down the third you incriminating yourself and this blah 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 it makes sense i'm not mad at it i'm thankful that i work at a company that like you know supports content creators and i, I mean obviously they make money off it too so it makes sense but at the same time they could have said they don't like me, like what I'm doing. You're fired, turn the truck in, this down the third. Oh well. And that, that just would have been that. So I'm grateful to work where I work at. Shout out to Prime. They really earned some more of my respect. They just always earning cool points, bro. I ain't gonna lie. They always got my back, it seemed like. But anyway, we about to head to my 01. Got another Tyson load. This is actually two loads from the last one y'all seen me do. My dispatch been working me, man. I'm, I appreciate it. I'm grateful. Y'all know I need as much cheese as I could get. As long as I didn't sat, please send me all the money on. But anyways, man, we're about to go to this pickup. I got to get a trailer washout and all that first. I don't know how much of the new setup y'all are actually going to see in this intro or in the beginning of this video, just for the simple fact of it's not set up. Um, and I want to go ahead and get up the road, so I'm not about to set it up right now. But when I got some downtime, I'm about to take a 10 hour once I get to the 01. So when I get there, I'll set it all up and y'all get to see me do some night driving into the morning and y'all gonna see the new setup and I hope y'all love it because I'm excited about it. I hope y'all excited too. Appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Appreciate all the love that y'all been showing, all the support, man. I can't ask for more support and love than I've been getting, bro. Like, I'm so new to this. I'm, I ain't gonna say I'm new to YouTube. I've been doing YouTube for a long time, but I'm new to the trucking scene, the trucking content. So the fact y'all supporting me, y'all comment and respond and like the video, watch it fast, all that. This is like a dream come true for, to somebody like me, so I'm getting to live both my dreams up. But anyway, I ain't gonna talk y'all to death. Y'all know I got a bad habit of that. Appreciate y'all, and yeah, we're gonna get into this drive. I love y'all, I love y'all, I love y'all. Y'all so far, I love y'all. All right, y'all, this is probably gonna be the last little video that I make before um, we pick up the load and switch up the camera angle. I'm up here at a Love's. Uh, just, it was the last little Love's that I'm gonna see before I get to where I'm going. I am 64 miles from my 01 where I'm gonna take my um, 10 hour reset at. So that's good, all that's good. Everything looked like it's, you know what I'm saying? I can't complain with that. Give me a good shower, knock out this last little stretch, get down the road, man. And then uh, do a little reset and I have, what's that gonna be like? Almost five hours that I get on my recap on Thursday. So it worked out how it needed to work out. I'm about to go get a shower. If you can't tell, I'm a little bit tired. Um, I've been like, anxious i don't know why last night i was anxious i just felt like i was gonna oversleep and not make it to that uh 90 on time and it was extra confusing because um the address wasn't working like it needed to like usually it'd be like uh you could see it on trucker path and google maps and all that man i'm telling y'all i put that thing in there so many times pause and it never looked how it was supposed to look pause again like i was stressed out i just had so much anxiety but we ended up getting there taking care of that anyways i ain't gonna talk y'all to death i keep telling y'all i got a bad habit of that i'll just ramble and ramble but about to go in here and give me a little shower and then we're gonna get up the road i'll tap in with y'all when we are picking up at the old one
all right y'all change of plans so i thought i was gonna take my 10 hour uh 10 hour reset here because um my load wasn't supposed to be ready and i could only get to the receiver oh i can't show y'all the bills i can't get to i can't only get to the receiver an hour before my appointment but i came in here and they was ready for me so i was trying to decide am i still gonna just sleep here and do my reset here or what i wanted to do i didn't decided that i'm going to um Go ahead and pick up the load and i'll just drive until i get tired when i get tired i'll find a truck stop before it's, they all get full if you don't already got trucker pad trucker pad to tell you like they be drivers are updated and be like yeah it was parked still available and this that and the third so you could kind of pace your stops we about to um pull over there and go and connect to my trailer might as well it's ready shoot all right y'all we about to roll over there all right y'all we picking up two four zero nine six one said it's parked on the left side of the scale. It's a load full of chicken patties. Somebody in the comment uh, told me basically how you do it. I ain't never know that's how you do it, but now that I'm here, we got to get it right. Uh, so we're gonna get our inspection done real quick for inspection it's a 2024 trailer uh i expect it to be all right check for stuff check my tires check my you know my mud flaps stuff that didn't got tow up she's looking good though y'all Look good to me, what y'all think? Check my fuel, I forgot to check the fuel. Leaking, I hate that. Fuel. We at a little above half a tank. I ain't tripping though. You know we get one free fill up and I'm, I'm barely gonna have this trailer. So, I'm, and then uh, it'll be a three fourths when I'm dropping it. Negative 10. 
Is that what it's at on the box? All right, y'all, we about to pull up on the scale now. He probably don't know what I'm doing. So what the scale says, I'll be able to uh, fix my needle for sure. Because um, the scale gonna tell me what my tractor actually weighing. So regardless. Let's creep up on here. Slow and steady. I lied, this is not even the type of scale I need. This is the scale to tell you you're gross. I need like my individual weights. Yep, that's about right. All right, so we do gotta um, slide my tandems again, unfortunately. I'm gonna go ahead and get behind them people in line though. There's no real other convenient place for me to be anyway. But we know I need to pull my tandems forward one more hole. Sure they want me to go all the way to the stop sign, but I really wish I didn't have to. One hole. How you doing? How are you? I'm okay. She gave me a form for you, I think. This, oh no. Nah. What I didn't do? Oh, here it is. I gotta work on my tandems real quick. I can do that right here. Yeah, yeah, I can have this out for you. Oh, I didn't even know. I'm sorry. Okay. I didn't even look at it. Okay. I'm gonna go check the seal real quick while you do that. Okay. I just thought this was like a regular uh, sheet that I check out with. Alright y'all, we done with her, but we not done with this trailer. <laughs> I'm gonna pull up so I can get out of these people's way, but we gotta work on, um, still gotta work on them tandems. Alright. Pull it up one hole, and we should be good. Put a 34 in here right now. Go up just a little bit. As soon as I feel it slip, I'm gonna pull this. That gotta be it. Yeah, there we go. That gotta be it. 
trying to hurry for somebody come and I'll be in their way. 33 and a half, yes sir. <laughs> All right, we got it. So we got 33 and a half back there. And we good to go. So we about to do our live loaded car. And this time we should be squared away. First, let me come out of this jacket. I hate wearing this jacket when I'm in the truck. It be so hot. Golly. This is 741-720. I've got about 33 on both. Negative 10. Yes, ma'am. And what is the trailer number? I've got 240-961. You too, thank you. Everything situated, um, but I know we're in good shape because well I don't know I can't guarantee it, but our uh, total weight is legal and our trailer weight is reading accurate, so I mean far as I know we should be good to um, roll to the first scale that I could get to. Then I'm gonna get my um, I'm gonna get my gauges adjusted so that I can stop running into that problem because that's been really annoying, obviously. Just the fact that I'll be so unsure every time, that's annoying. All right, let's pull up out of here. This a heavy girl, big boy got it though. I ain't gonna lie. One thing about this Pete, I know I'll be talking bad, well, I don't even talk bad about it, but I know like y'all could probably hear it in my voice. I'll be, I'll be scared of it because it didn't show me that it will, it will uh, go ahead and clock out on me. But one thing I will say, they talk bad about this engine, but it, this engine get up, man. It picked the load up and the weight up easy. Like, obviously it's governed and limited because prime, which makes sense. But like, when you step on it, like if I wanted to step on it right now, I wanted to, to I wanted to go ahead and drag this load, it's gonna do that. It'll go ahead and drag this load, so. Not too much on the P, man. Me and Big Boy got a good relationship. We got a good thing going right now. <laughs> no cap. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and get on the road. Right now, my drive clock has about four hours and 16 minutes on it, which is, uh, that's plenty. That's enough for me to deliver the load, honestly. But because I'm, um, I can't get to the appointment any earlier than one hour before the appointment, like a Walmart load. I be feeling like Prime do that on purpose, y'all. I be feeling like when freight is slow, they don't want us moving around too fast. They don't want us to like anticipate being able to move and getting on our fleet manager nerd. So like the load can only deliver within the hour of the appointment and stuff like that. Like these people ordered these, they ordered these chicken patties. They want their chicken patties ASAP, man. They don't want to wait till tomorrow at 9 a.m. When they can have them tonight at 8 p.m. They want them right now. But anyways, uh, I can't get there early anyway, so there's no point in me trying to drive this clock out. I'm just going to drive as far as I, I can till I'm, I'm not going to get uncomfortable. I'm going to drive as far as I comfortably can, and then I'll stop doing my 10 hour. The good thing though, tomorrow, when I do deliver the load, I'll have a, not a full clock, but pretty much a full clock to run. So they can send me wherever the next money at, and I should be good to go ahead and grab it. But yeah, man, I know I say it a thousand times and I'm gonna keep saying it. I'm gonna try not to talk y'all head off. Uh, I don't know. We just riding now. We 60 miles from the next um, pilot where I'll be able to go and see it by my gauges. So um, everything good. Tire pressure, it, that thing that went away like it always does. Um, and I bought a, a, a tire pressure monitor. I already had a little manual one, but I bought one that's a little bit better that give me like the exact, what the reading is. 
and the pressure do not be low. That's, and I didn't talk to them about it, and they said that it's probably just a sensor going out and not to worry about it, just to monitor it. So that's what I've been doing, but like, it's really like annoying because of what I do. Like, I make content, so I get on here and y'all be freaking out, but hopefully y'all following up on what's going on. Gotta grab this exit. They wanna drop it down to 25. 25, which makes sense, cause this is a loop-de-loop, -loop, a little wrap around. So we gonna slow this joker down. And we gonna get on it. Yes, sir. I also will need to uh, get some reefer fuel before I shut down, unless I shut down somewhere that is like a Loves or a Pilot, which is preferred anyways. But I can't forget that my fuel was at about half a tank, and that's not gonna last me all night when it needs to hold negative 10, so. Yeah, man. Now we just roll running, enjoying the job now. Now that's the easy part, the fun part. still paying it paying attention you still locked in and tuned in I want y'all to know that i appreciate you 100 percent thank you salute to you for watching my videos man uh i hope they be entertaining if y'all got any sort of feedback or anything or if you ever see anything like that you could have did this or you could have did that better or you know what i mean i don't know let me know drop it down in the comments i read all my comments i don't always respond right away just because i like to go in there and knock them all out at once like I'll do a sweep and then another sweep. You know what I mean? Just so that I'm not sitting there babysitting it because if y'all hear me talk about it sometimes, like I'll be real anxious and that, that just don't help with the anxiety at all. So I'll try to like go do one good sweep, go do another good sweep. Like every few days, go knock them all out. But if y'all comment anything, any anything that you got, any sort of advice or, you know, constructive criticism or if you want to talk a little crazy to me, whatever it is that you got to say, fret not go ahead and drop it down in the comments man make sure that you subscribe if you already subscribed make sure you got the bell turned on that way whenever i do upload you will get a notification you will know your boy just uploaded a video so you can go ahead and tune in see how i'm doing in my truck in the new pete ski big boy yes sir but yeah man salute to y'all if you're still watching and you tuned in i appreciate you thank you for your support i'm gonna keep on bringing the content to y'all don't get tired of me yet, I got a lot more in store, don't get tired of me. We just getting started, hate to say it, but we really just getting started. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'll tap, I'll tap back in with y'all whenever I get to a, a, a scale, a cat scale.